Hi everyone, welcome to your PushBio dashboard. Today we're gonna to take a quick tour of PushBio, the interface, and then highlight a few of the powerful tools at your disposal. So let's dive right in. Well, if you're not a user of PushBio yet, you can easily claim your page, create your account with your brand or your personal name right here, and you claim your page. Now, if you are a user, you're just gonna log into here, and then it will bring you to your dashboard. Okay, when you log in, you'll notice that there are three main areas. You've got the upper right-hand side over here where you see your profile, and this is all your account information, right? So you've got your account, my plan, help topics, your billing, affiliates, my team, and of course, logout. That's not what we're gonna cover today, but it is there. You can also change the language. We'll add notifications here and as well as announcements for product updates. And then you have the dashboard, which is in the middle. We're gonna dive into that today. But I also wanna point out the left side menu, which we will cover in the following demo here, which has 13 different features and functions um, for you to use, all right? So let's start with the first one right here, your link in bio page. When you add a link in bio page, you can either click the bu button here to add the bio link page from scratch, or you can use a template. If you are going to be using a template, just simply click here, find a template that describes your profile. This is what we call our ideal customer profiles. These are typically the users that are currently uh, signed up on Push Bio as a member, right? So really, if you find a template that speaks to you, choose that template, click on it, add your name, Right, so we'll make sure it's on the push bio here for the bio link URL. And let's say my name was Josh Smith. So I create that bio link page. It successfully created the link for Josh Smith. So now you have your landing page and that's how quickly you can create a landing page, right? And once you have that created, then you're going to go into each block and click the little edit here for, for each one of these blocks. And then you just add your link into there, right? So if you have a link or if it's a phone number, and we're gonna cover all of the, the features within the bio link page, essentially you're building a landing page for your entire brand or product, okay? So that's feature number one there, which is very important. It's the most widely used feature on Push Bio is building the bio link pages, which are like landing pages. The second feature that many of our users love is the link shortener. Link shortener is very simple, just like you've used in other um, platforms like Bitly or Linktree. If you needed to create a link shortener, you would add it into here and you'd create that link shortener and that's it. You'd just be able to share it with people, right? Because let, let's just say that I had a very long link for a post. Uh, perhaps it's a post from one of my um, followers over here or one of my posts, right? Let's say I take that link, but it's a long link and I wanted it to go into here. See, that's a very long link. It's got the UTM, it's got the you know, affiliate link and all of that, but I just wanna make it into a short link. So link shortener, I could say, you know, for example, um, this is Mike on LinkedIn. So Mike's LinkedIn. And let's say I was gonna share that in my newsletter. Now I have that link and you can see very simple very short link, pushbio.io forward slash Mike's LinkedIn. I'd copy that. And when I log off of this, instead of having to type in that full URL, which is hundreds of characters, I just have pushbio.io forward slash Mike's LinkedIn, right? And it's gonna redirect me to that same post from LinkedIn. So thereby shortening the link, especially when you're doing a, link, a, a post on LinkedIn or other platforms that the links aren't clickable, it's easier for you to just do a link shortener, right? All right, so that's the link shortener. Let's go back to the dashboard. 
The third feature is file sharing. File sharing is very easy to do. Uh, you can host the file right here on Push File. You click the file sharing, then go to your to browse your desktop. Let's say I had a PDF I needed to share about our podcast. So I put it into here. Then I would choose the file URL as pushbio.io, pushb.io, I should say, and then add it in here. I'd say, um, you know, PF podcast. And I'd create a file. And now it's hosted on there, right? And what I can do is I can copy this and just simply share it with anyone with a very short URL. And when you click on there, voila, it's opening up the full PDF. Now, the PDF could be one page, 10 page, 100 pages. And that's not going to matter, right? So you have everything about that there. So it's very easy to share files, which I know many of you, uh, wh whatever industry you're in, we all have to constantly share decks and different files. So that makes it easy. The fourth function and feature that I want to show you here is the V card. V card is basically your virtual business card, right? Super easy to create. When you say add V card link and just add your name there, right? So in this case, I'm going to put in Alex and you can see, uh, let's go back to here where I click Alex. And the V card that was created has got all the information that you want. So you can add an avatar, perhaps a, a headshot, your first name, last name, email, phone number, website, company, city, state, everything, all the information, your social media channels. Uh, if you need to track it with pixels, um, add phone numbers, you add all of that. And then you just have basically a, a super easy link, push bio.io forward slash Alex. And so when I share it, it would take me to, as you can see here, the the VCF dot VCF file that anyone can uh, upload it to their smartphone and have your contact info at a moment's notice. And also what you can do with that V card is create it as a QR code. And that is the fifth feature that I want to uh, highlight for you today is the QR codes. QR codes, as you know, um, since the pandemic, I mean, QR codes have been around for over a decade, but they really took off after the pandemic. And you know, if you're, a, if you're a business person, you're an influencer or a marketer, you have to use QR codes quite often, especially if you're doing presentations. And of course, if someone is on their smartphone, it makes it a little bit harder for them to scan it because they're on their smartphone. But if they're looking at a desktop and you have a QR code, so easy to create it, you come into the dashboard, click create QR code. And what you're gonna love about this QR code is we give you lots of different ways um, to up, upload not only uh, the URL, but also the design aspects of it. So you would name your QR code, whatever you wanna name it here. Um, you can create different workspaces, which we are gonna talk about in the other demos, right? They're just basically different categories of projects that you're working on. So that's what we call the workspace, right? So think of the, like different folders. Um, and then the QR code type, is it text? Is it URL? We give you all these options, whatever the function is of the uh, QR code, you just choose that QR code type, right? So it could be a phone number. Let's say you wanted someone to scan the QR code and it go directly to your phone, you would do it as that. Or if you wanted to have them just text you on the spot or connect you with WhatsApp, you could do all of that, right? and you could add some content here. And then once it's created, you come into the QR design and you can easily change the style from square to dots. You can see the dots are gonna change here, right? So let me go back to here and just put in the test. And let's do, let's do a QR code type URL. Let's do a URL, okay? Push bio.io and then this way when i go to design it's going to allow me to choose the style square dots hearts pretty neat right rounded and diamonds and then you can do the inner eye style as well as you can see it'll change from square to dot to diamond to leaf to rounded and flower so pretty cool and then the outer eye style you've got square circle, flower, rounded, leaf. 
And then all those three elements, you can easily change the color. So the foreground color, let's say I wanted to, that color, you'll see it'll change there, right? You can change both sides of it, make one darker than the other. You can add the color code in there, right? And then the, there's the background color. Let's say you wanted a really dark navy background. It's going to do that for you. It's kind of very easy for you to do that. And if you wanted to make it more transparent, you could do so, right? So I'm just showing you all the different ways. Custom eye color as well, yes or no. Eyes, as you can see, easy to change all of the colors. And I'm making it really funky here. None of these colors match, and that's okay, but I'm just showing you how quickly you can change the colors on these, right? And then the margin size as well, we allow you to do that. We allow you to change the size. Um, let's say I was supposed to put that, that in there. You'll see that the margins from here to the end of the box will change, right? If you leave it blank, it'll do full. So that's it. That's as easy as it is to create the QR codes here on Push Bio. And then, of course, you have your, your branding. You can add your logo. So let's say I wanted to add the Push Bio logo. It's going to add the logo here to the middle. Uh, you can make it smaller. You can make it larger. You can see very easy. And once you create it, you're ready to download it. You can download it as an SVG file, PNG, JPEG, or WBP, uh, okay, a WebP file. And then you can also print it. And more importantly, you'll be able to take that QR code and share it with your connections. All right. So I hope that um, you were able to see what the potential is with Push Bio. Again, we are an all in one growth platform for creators. What we're attempting to do here is give you a, a unified platform that is going to give you everything you need to elevate your digital presence. Um, and it's ab about growing your audience, right? And hopefully finding ways to monetize your content, your brand. And in, in the following demos, we're going to go deep into all of the features and functions that you see here, all 13 of them that are going to allow you to use push bio to the most of, um, you know, to the best of its abilities here. And as I said, you know, these five features link and bio tool, which is building a landing page, link shortener, file sharing, V card and QR codes. These are the first five features that we built out when we launched um, push bio. But now we have added more understanding that creators need more and we hope that these um, features will help you okay thank you and we'll see you in the next demo